In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the difference between funnels and websites in Techmatics. So before we dive into the actual dashboard here, I want to walk you through a flowchart to help you to actually be able to understand what is happening within Techmatics's backend so that you can understand what do you need to make as a funnel, what do you need to make it as a website, and how do you go between those. So to start, you have your homepage, and this is likely going to be the main website. So for my case, I have sciencegradschoolcoach.com. That is what I would want my homepage to be. Now to do this, you want to set your path as home, and in your settings, in your domain settings, that's where you'll actually tell it where that homepage is, so that when someone just types in sciencegradschoolcoach.com and doesn't do slash home, it'll send them to the right place. So I'm going to show you how to do all of that in a minute, but that's your main homepage. From your homepage, every other page, whether it's a funnel or it's a website page, is going to have a slash and then a path. So if you have a course and you want to have your site.com slash course, that would probably be a funnels page if you want to have it go to the sales page. So you would have that funnel page go, the path would be your course name, if that makes sense. And I'll show you that in a little bit. But basically, your funnels and your websites will look the same in how people get there. So if you tell them, to go to yoursite.com slash page, they're not going to know if that was a website page or a funnel page, but these different pages have different functionality in the back end. So your website pages are going to be your global pages. Once you create a website, some of the things within that website pages are global properties. So examples of that are like your navigation menu at the top and your footer at the bottom. If you change that on a website page, it's going to change it across all of the pages that are within that website, which might not be something you want if you have your sales page that you don't want a header on, but you want your header on your home page, if that makes sense. So that's where you're going to go to the website part of Techmatics is to develop things like your about me page, your contact page, and any other type of information landing pages. So if you just want to host a place where people can come and download files, maybe from your YouTube channel, you can totally host that within your website page and just create a website page that says like, you know, YouTube downloads or whatever, and then they can do that. Or if you just want to host a general information page, maybe like a tech guide or something like that, you're free. Like you can definitely host that on website pages and be perfectly fine. So then you have your funnels. And so your funnels are mainly going to be there for your sales pages and your lead magnets. Your funnels are starting a process. So you're going to have your first page of your funnel is going to be the main page that you give out to people. So if it's a lead magnet or a sales page, your first page is going to be that sales page or where you're getting them to opt in. And then after that in your funnel, you can have different pages like a thank you page, a one-time offer page, upsell pages, things like that. So that's kind of the difference in here. Funnels are going to be better for tracking conversions, for letting your customers go through a process and either to opt in or to buy. And website pages are going to be better for your global things that are going on. So what does that look like within Textmatics dashboard? So if you come into Techmatics dashboard, we're going to go to sites and courses on the left-hand side. And you have two things here. You have your funnels tab and your websites tab. And so again, your funnels, those are mainly going to be your sales and your lead magnet pages or anything that's like that. And your websites are going to be more global. So let's start with the website first. And I'm going to go into Science Grad School Coach. That's the current website I am working off of. And so this, you can see I have a home about courses. And this course is, is good as like just a place to show where all your courses and or resources are, but not for a course sales page. So those are a little bit different. A trainings, and I haven't set all these things up, a coaching page, terms, conditions, privacy policy, and your blog page is also really good to have within your website. So these are all the things that really make sense to have within your websites because we're not trying to start a process with any of these pages. These are kind of overall information pages, and then we're going to send them to a funnel page to start the process to get them to either opt in for something or buy something. So that's what you're looking at here. So let's go over into funnels. 
So in our funnels, this is, you can see our sales pages or, you know, opt-in pages or things like that. So I'm going to go into this one as an example. So you can see that this is setting up a system. So you have your free ebook opt-in page that you can edit here. You can also do split testing within your funnel, and that's something you can't do within your website. So that's something good to know the different functionalities here. And then you can have your thank you page. So in here, I'm just going to show you why this matters. So if you click in here, one of the options you have for your buttons and things, so I want to look at this button, and I probably need to move my face, move me up here. So if I'm looking at this button, I want it to do something when they click on it, right? So in this case, it's going to open to a pop-up, but if I didn't want it to go to a pop-up, and let's say I just wanted it to go to the next step in the sequence, you need that to be a funnel to have the different steps. So I can just say go to the next step. So when they click this, they're going to go to the thank you page. Obviously, you need to actually have the opt-in form on this page. That's why this was linked to the open pop-up. And if you go to open pop-up settings, so if you're going to have it in as your pop-up, if you go to the open pop-up settings, it says button actions and it says redirect. So what are you gonna do when they click it? And you can tell it to just go to the next step so that you don't have to worry about did a URL change or anything like that. It's always gonna send them to the next step in this funnel. So that is why having funnels like this is important. And I'm just gonna leave and not make any changes. So now, it's also important to understand how are you directing people to these pages. So I'll go over how to actually build out your pages in a different video, but I want you to understand how you're directing people. So in your funnels, each of your pages have a different link that you can do. So this is just a thank you oils book. This one is my website free oils book. So if I want to change this, so this is one that I have a C name. So I have the demo there because my actual site is actually live somewhere else. So I'm going to change this to this. So it looks a little bit more like what you would probably want yours to look like. So now you can see that this is going to go to researchmasteryacademy.com slash free oils book. And I can change this just by hitting that gear there. And let's just say uh, I just want it to be essential oils. Again, this is something that comes with, this is obviously isn't my brand, something that just comes with it. So now if I go to this, if I tell people, hey, come to my thing and just go to researchmasteryacademy.com slash essential oils, it now brings up that page. So that's what's important to realize is that your person isn't going to know that they're going to a funnel or a website page and how they're actually getting directed there. So now if I go to my websites and I come in here, I want to show you what that exact same thing looks like. So if I do my home page, I'm going to click on these three dots and go to settings. That's how I can edit the path. So this right now says the path is home. So that's fine. My about should just be about. So let's make sure we're going to go to settings and it's about. And this should all be on, so I, yeah, is on my demo. So if I go here home, it's taking me to this home page that I've created. So that's, it looks the same, right, with that path. So now I want to show you again here. We want this path to happen if I don't put in slash home, because if people are searching you, they're probably not going to search slash home. They're just going to search for your website. So how do we do that? To do that, we need to go into our settings down here at the bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into domains. And now whenever you have your domain, we want to click this little edit right here. And what this is going to do is it's going to say default page. So if you just put in demo.sciencegradschoolcoach.com, what page should we be sending those people to? And we want to send them to home. So that's what I'm going to select. I want this website, sciencegradschoolcoach.com slash home. So if I save this, now I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to do this. And I'm not going to include anything after it. So just .com. Where, what is it going to do? 
it's going to send them now to the home page. So that's how you're working through this. You, to you want to create your home page and then set that as the default page so that it's going to send them to the right place. So I hope this makes a lot of sense and that you want to start with your home page and then from there you can create your global sites as website pages and then all of your opt-in pages and sales pages as funnels. And then you're just controlling that path so it looks the exact same to your customer. They don't know if they're in a funnel page or a website page, but those funnel page gives you extra functionality that the website pages aren't going to have. And the website pages are going to be a lot easier to edit together as a global product than editing, the, editing them all as funnel pages. So I hope this is really helpful. In another video, I will show you how to convert between websites and funnels. So if you were like, oh no, I created my sales page as a website page or my contact page as a funnel page, I'm gonna show you how to enter convert those two. I hope this video was helpful. If you're still checking out Techmatics and you haven't gotten started yet, there will be a link below where you can get a free trial for Techmatics to start playing around with it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.